Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these beautiful summer hitrol style earrings. I'm showing them step by step so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell in this way you will be inspired two or three times a week with new designs. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for these actions, guys. Check description for useful resources and my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member because a lot of work goes in this video. More info for membership perks, check in description. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 o seed beads, black, yellow, orange, red, and turquoise. You could use others of your choice. These are earring findings. This is Nymo nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 10 beading needle and these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and in my first step what I'm going to pick up are eight of these beautiful black beads. I'm sliding those down and I will stick my needle in my mat. And what I want to do is to make a knot. And I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. Then I want to make one more knot. And if you want even one more. Okay, now I have this. Now what I'm going to do next is go through these two black beads. Just like this. And I'm going to take five red beads. And as I'm exiting from this black bead, I skip the one that's on my way. And I go through the following. I have this. Then again, I need five red beads. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. Again, And again. Okay, now I have this. In my next step, guys, I want to go through these two red beads in this direction. I take three red beads, skip the central one that is sticking out the most and go through the following. Three red beads and go in the second thread counting from the center. Three reds Skip the central one and go through the following. Three reds again through the second red counting from the center. Three reds again. Skip one and go through the following. Three, three, 
three. And the last three that I'm adding here. Now I want to reach here this bit that is sticking out the most, the central one of the three that I added in my previous step. And I take one red, three orange beads and one red, five beads in total. And I go in the next middle that is sticking out. In the next middle, one of the three I was adding in my previous row and it is sticking out the most. Okay, again the same sequence and again through the central of the three beads that I added. Again five. Go through the central one. go here again and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I go in the last bit that is sticking out, which was the first one that I started my row from. Then I go through the first orange here and I take three yellow beads and I skip the central orange and go in the next one. And I take a black, a turquoise and a black and I go in the first of the three orange beads that are coming. three yellows, skip the central orange, go like this, three again, go in the first orange, three yellows, Three black turquoise black. Again, three yellows. Okay, guys, and continue this until the end of this row. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video from here and repeat these steps from this side and I'll meet you. Okay guys, and here I am where I need to add my last three beads from this row. And I'm adding them here again at this first orange bead of the three that I have. And don't worry that at this stage it will bend a little bit, we'll fix it later. Now what I need to do is go through this, the middle yellow bead. And I need one black and two turquoise beads. And I go here in this turquoise. Then I take two turquoise, one black the other way around. And I go through the yellow. Then again, one black, two turquoise. And after that, two turquoise, one black, the other way around. And how I know which sequence comes next? 
Well, I want the turquoise to be next to the turquoise and the black to be next to the yellow. So in this case, as I'm exiting out of a yellow, I need one black and two turquoise. And as I'm exiting out of turquoise, I need two turquoise, one black. And again, one black, two turquoise. And two turquoise, one black. And I'm going to continue these guys until the end. If you forget how I'm doing it, you could always rewind and repeat this part from here. I'll meet you in a while. And here I am, guys, where I'm adding my last two turquoise, one black. And what I want to do next is go through the black through the following three turquoise going through the one the one at the inner angle and then i will go also through the following turquoise okay you see where i'm exiting i'm taking a black a yellow and a black and i go backwards one turquoise bit away before the angle and through the angle And I'm adding this sequence here. Then I go through the next two turquoise beads. And I'm going to take five turquoise beads. And as I'm exiting out of this turquoise, I go in the next turquoise and through all the three here. Okay, then also through the next turquoise. I have this. Again, black, yellow, black. And go one turquoise bead before this inner angle, like this. Then through the next two turquoise beads. Five turquoise. Go like this through the next three turquoise. Also go in the next one. And then again, the same thing, go backwards through this turquoise that is before the inner angle and through the inner angle, the bit of the inner angle. Okay, you see here I am. Here the trick is going backwards. Okay. Then again, I have five, go like this, through all of those three beads, through the next one, three again, and go the same way. And this is what I'm going to be doing, guys, until the end of this row. When I'm ready, I'll meet you here and we'll continue with the next one. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last five turquoise beads from this row. Just like this. Then I'm going through the black and the yellow. Okay, and as I'm exiting out of the yellow, I take orange, red and black 
and I go in this bit that is next to the one that is sticking out the most, the middle one of the five that I added in my previous row. Okay, now what I do is that I skip here the middle bit, don't go through it, but go through the following bit. And when I pull and push this bit a little bit, I have this beautiful angle formed here. Then I take the same sequence but the other way around. First black and then a red and orange. And I go through the yellow one. Then I take orange, red, black the other way around. Because when I'm next to the yellow I want to start with the orange. And I go here in this turquoise through the one that is next to the this that is sticking out the most. Okay, then I skip this central one. And I will take the same sequence, but I will start from the black bead now black, red and orange. When I'm next to a turquoise one, I start with black, then red and orange. And when I'm next to the yellow one, when I'm exiting out of the yellow one, I take the orange, red, black sequence the other way around. Go here. Now I skip here the top and go in the next one and pull. And when I'm here next to the turquoise I start from the darker colors to the lighter colors. So black, red, orange. And when I'm next to the yellow, I start from the lighter color to the darker one, orange, red, black. Go in the same place. Now again, I will pop out this central bead. If it doesn't want to pop out, just help it with your finger and it will come around. Okay, now continue this until the end and you will see your work straightening up and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last sequence. And I need to do one more step. I'm going here because I need to reach this red bead. And what I need to add here are three red beads and I go in the next red one and also through the following few beads. And I have this. Then I go through all the turquoise black and exit out of the next red one. and pull like this and I need three red beads go through all of those here just like that then again aim for the next red one Take three reds, go in the next red and through as many beads as you can in this direction. Then aim for the next red again. Three 
then take three and I will continue this work guys until the end and I'll be back okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row your work should have straightened up until now if not uh, this could mean several things one is that you probably use thicker thread or like monofilament or something like this or the size of the beads you're using is a little bit different although they are let's say 11 or one are a little bit bigger than the others which happens from lot to lot sometimes uh, now what you could do is to iron your work with a cotton cloth on it and put a clear nail polish over your work to try straightening up okay now what i want to take here i'm exiting out of this turquoise bead the central one and i'm taking two blacks my earring finding and two black beads and i go back in circle through this turquoise one then what i want to do is to reinforce this joint here You could reinforce it by going several times around it. Then what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. And I do this by making a loop. Going once and going second time through the loop I have here and pull then go in the next few beads and cut your thread as close as possible to your work okay guys and now my summer hitro style earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't and in this way you will be inspired usually twice a week with new designs thank to all of you that like share and comment this is a great and amazing support and i can't thank you enough for these actions guys check description for full list of materials, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook page. And you might also consider supporting me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could also check in description. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.